One of the questions I get asked a lot is how do you insert the copyright symbol into a WordPress page or post? It's not just the copyright symbol though, I get asked this about all sorts of symbols. You can see on the screen there we've got a pound sign, we've got the at sign that's used in email addresses and we have the trademark symbol. All of these can easily be added to WordPress in a number of different ways and in this video I'm going to show you four ways that you can add these symbols and a lot more to your posts, pages, sidebars, footers, widget areas, wherever you want them. The first two methods I'm going to show you require a character reference code. If you go to Google and you search for character reference chart, you'll find this web page. It's number one in the Google results, at least it is for me. It's on the dev.w3.org website. So open up that page and then find the symbol that you want to insert. Down here you can see we have the copyright and underneath that you can see that we have a code. The code is an ampersand copy semicolon. Let's just copy that. The first method we can use is to use a normal paragraph block. Let's just put in some text and let's say I want to add the copyright symbol to that text. If we click on the options for that block and go down to edit as HTML and then position your cursor wherever you want the copyright symbol and paste in that code that we copied from the website. Let's update and preview and you can see now that we've got the little copyright symbol there. You can do that for all of the symbols on this screen. Let's try the pound sign. We'll go back and we'll just add in a little bit more text here. Let's paste in the pound sign, preview, and then you can see we have the pound sign. So that's the first method. Once you've done that, you can then switch this back to edit visually and you'll see that you've got that inside your post. The second method of doing it is to use a short code. So let's add in a short code block. If you can't find it in the list, mine's here because I've used it regularly. But if you can't find it, just do a, sh a search, short code, select it, and you can see we've now got a short code block. You can paste in those references directly into the short code. So let's copy that one, go back to the post and paste in that. Let's update and then preview. And there you can see we've got that symbol added in there. So that's the second method using a short code. The next method is to add in a classic block. This is the classic editor block and when you go to the classic editor block you'll see that there is a symbol here for special characters. You can click on that and then find the special character that you want to insert. Let's view the post and there you can see we've inserted that there. There is an easier way and this is to use a keyboard shortcut. So for example on a Windows machine if I hold the Alt key and I type 0169 while I hold the Alt key when I release the Alt key that produces a copyright symbol. If I hold down the ALT key and type 0163 and release the ALT key, I get the pound sign. If I type 0153 holding the ALT key, release the ALT key, I get the trademark sign. If I hold the ALT key and type 64 and release the ALT key, I get the at sign. So you can use keyboard shortcuts as well to insert these. Those keyboard shortcuts are useful for other applications. This isn't just about WordPress. Here I have a text editor. If I hold down the Alt key and I type in 0169, you can see the copyright symbol is being added to this document. Hold the Alt key 0163, there's the pound sign. 64, there's the at sign. And then Alt 0153, there's the trademark sign. So you can use these keyboard shortcuts in any application. So how can you find these keyboard shortcuts? Well, I'd recommend you go to Google and do a search for Alt Code Copyright. 
and then bring up the results. This first URL here, posterpresentations.com, if you click on that, it gives you Windows and Mac codes for the symbols. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see them down here. So there we have the trademark, Alt plus 0153, Alt plus 0169 for copyright. We have all sorts of symbols here you can use as the registered one. If you find that the symbol that you want to use isn't in this list, then just head back to Google and type in whatever the symbol is that you want to find. And you should find that Google can give it to you. So that's how easy it is to insert symbols not only in WordPress, but in other applications as well.